shorty, she a vibe. I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Nah, not really. Are you fried, bro? Are you fried? Yeah, listen, but you have rammed that 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 project in my head. <laughs> all, I, all I can say is I'm fried. I'm, I'm fried. <laughs> you know what, bro? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, since we are here right now, yeah, yeah. somebody slid into my DMs yeah, the other like, day. Yeah, and say, bro, I wanna know what loud. Kelly's on, bro. <laughs> I said to God, bro. The best in the Chris. The best is my message. The best. You get me, bro. The best is said, I want to know what loud Kelly is on, bro. Why? Because, Why? because whenever they look at your eyes, bro, your eyes are like this, bro. But, but I've got I tiny swear to God, eyes. I've got the evidence in my phone, yeah, bro. No, I've got, I've got tiny eyes, but I've said this uh, many times before. <laughs> you like, sure about why, that? Why can't they just accept it like are that? Are you gonna look at the camera right yeah, now and no, say, listen, bro? That's the big, that's the biggest I can go. <laughs> oh God, though. That's small, that's small eyes. That's small yeah, eyes, bro. Yeah, yeah. Chinese yeah. eyes, bro. But if you want to know, but slide in my DM. Yeah, exactly, bro. You got and, the plug, though, innit? You shall know. You shall know. <laughs> yeah, fam. Fam, how you doing, though? You good, bro, though, yeah? Bro, bro, I am chilling, B. The weekend, fam, innit? Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. I'm surprised that you're wearing this, bro. Because, yeah, he, know. you know what? I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised, though. Because what? the weather's been playing tricks on us, bro. It's been crazy. Like, like the, this morning, it was quite warm and I jump outside, yo, freezing, the wind is, is cold. Then rain, bruv. Yeah, so it's, no, it's all over the place. So then again, boy, yeah, it's hot now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> now, you know what? I'm not even complaining, fam, because that, that's an indication that the summer's coming, fam. Yeah, and it's spring already, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Spring, it's summer's spring coming time, there, bro. You get me? So, so like all them layers and that, bruv. Need to go. Put them back in the box, fam. You get me? But but to be on a, on a real one, yeah. Which which weather do you like? You like them layers on or no layers? No layers. Like, yeah. No layers. Part of the reason is part of the reason is with the layers on, fam. Yeah, bro, you're putting on a lot of layers and everything. And by the time you get to where you're getting to, you're tired. Unless obviously you're in the car. You go. Know I mean, but then the whole. I like to be comfortable, fam. But the, don't you think with the layers on, like, I mean, with the jacket on, you can always freestyle anything. Put anything on it and just put your, slap your jacket on top of it. Yes. And then boom. Yes, yeah. that's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Until you get somewhere that's very hot. Yeah, and yeah. now you have to take off the jacket, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you and start thinking, <laughs> fam, you start thinking about the t-shirt that you have on the knee, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, know I mean, and that's the junction where you have to make a decision, bro. Do I sweat? Wow. Or do I just, you know? Listen, I am sweating. You're bro. sweating, bro. <laughs> no, listen, bro. No, no, there, there, there's bad times where you just, you know what? Put and just slap on the little, uh, anyhow, t shirt, put your jacket yeah, over it. And yeah, then yeah, we all have been there before. You know, jump out. That's why I kind of prefer them layers on, bro. Because nah, summertime is, is reveal moment, but you have, you have to buff up, bro. Yeah. You, but you have to dress up. But then, but then now you're more <laughs> conscious about what you're wearing now. You yeah. know what I mean? You you have to step on your A game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean? You're, you have to step on your A game, bro. And then apart from that, fam, mm. I'm surprised that you on the layers, bro. How about the chicks outside in the summertime? Fam? Nah, I know, I know. That's just for the eye candy. I'm talking about myself. Oh, you're talking for yourself? Yeah, I mean, okay. it, it, it has to benefit me now. Yeah, I know. Eye candy business. I like seeing, you know. Yeah. What you see on summertime, right? But but that too benefits me, fam. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> that too benefits me, bro. You get me? <laughs> what, what, it, it, what your mental state? What, what Ex- you... that too, fam? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It keeps you on top. Bro, top I'm notch. not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Summertime like this, if I'm having a long day in in, in the office, I look out the window. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see some eye candies. It makes yeah, me no, feel no. good, fam. Yeah, I mean, to, 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 I mean? to an extent, I, I agree. There you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Boom, like, I was watching a show the other day, yeah? Do you believe, do you believe that there are people or, or there are machines that control the weather? The weather? No, I'm no. Bro, I think, I think there is something like that, you know? I mean, as to, I don't understand. Control the weather like the, a whole region or a whole region. Yes, control yes. The weather if they there. want the rain to fall, yeah, there are machines out there that can trigger whatever it is that's in the space or whatever and the rain will fall. I will send you the program and everything, bro. They even can activate a fucking hurricane and tornadoes and shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hmm. Yeah. I was watching it thinking, what the fuck? But then I remember back it, back then in in Nigeria when, when we were little and everything, bro. It, right? Um, if you want to do something in the village and everything, they say you go go meet 
yeah, some yeah. people that will pray and do something for rain really, not to yeah. fall and shit, bro. Yeah, you got me. Like it was a real thing. No, no, I remember was. like people yeah. having conversations like that, bro. No, no, I've seen it happen. It's not even it was. I've seen it happen with my bare eyes. Yeah. How? What do you mean? Like they went and got the man for rain, and then boom, rain stopped. Then if you don't meet them, but best best believe your show, whatever it is you're doing, but rain go scatter the place, bro. Wait, so it was raining? Yeah, it was raining. And then the he winter went got the man. Yep. And then he went there. The man did whatever he did. Yeah, burns and smoke went up there and then boom, rain stopped. Shifted the rain, actually. Not even stopped. It shifted the rain. People say it's raining there, but it's not raining there, bro. Bullshit, bro. Nah, I swear to God. <laughs> I know, like. Are you serious? Yeah, hey, no, it's, it's real. That's why when you said that, I'm like, okay, boom. If these guys, but I don't know. Then again, I, I, can't, I don't know what they're doing. So I can't say maybe at that, at that point in time, the rain was meant to do that or whatever, but it happened when the, my guy was there. The, the thing that I know is, yeah, and, and, and I, I might sound crazy, but I believe, yeah, that anything that people are able to do spiritually, people can also do that with technology, bruv. Hmm, you got a point. Yeah. I believe that. yeah. That, that, that's actually I'm, I'm not actually deep that but yeah. if you believe in the whole spirituality thing yeah best believe yeah that there are people that can do the same thing with technology yeah, yeah bro I was watching the program I will send that in the group chat bro I was I was shocked that they can activate hurricanes bro tornadoes bro volcanoes rain so, so, anything, so, so why can't they stop it when it's obviously you can forecast mm -hmm. and then see it's no, coming. no 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 they can activate it and they can now I don't know about stopping volcanoes and everything but mm. they can stop the rain yeah yeah I don't know how the, how the fuck they do that shit bruv now you with technology I, I can't but yeah with the whole you know traditional natural natural science yeah it's yeah. right there natural science I've seen it bare times that yeah. shit crazy nah, bruv mad. you go out there it's, it's, Listen, 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 listen. Le, 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 le. Salute to every single one of you out there. Salute to all the freshers around the world. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. Yep. And for that, we salute you guys. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Toby and your boy Kels. Salute to Kojo. Kojo got um, a, a week or two before he comes back. Yeah, About two soon. weeks, isn't it? Mask soon, coming, soon, soon. It's coming home soon. This, yeah, it's coming. Bro, the way you just Rico made that sound, bro. <laughs> Rico I was going to say that. <laughs> bro, the way you made that shit sound. Yeah. yeah. He just sounded like my man That's had to go to the big boy house, fam. <laughs> You know what I mean? Free Kojo, bro. Free Kojo, wherever he is, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, salute to him, though. You get know what yeah. I mean? Listen, you already know what time it is. This is Fresh of the Boat podcast, where yeah. the shinglings and the shinglingans happen, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? NT, where you here for here? Nah, true. Not true you know bro. what I'm saying? If you've not subscribed to the YouTube channel, do that right now. Fresh of the Boat podcast. Subscribe to the channel. Watch the videos. Leave comments. Mm. Leave likes, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because they got friends too. Yes, you get yes. what I'm saying? And also salute to the audio gang as well. Everyone on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, wherever you are, man. Salute to you guys though. You get <coughs> what I'm saying? We keep on getting good reviews and all that. You know, mm. some people actually go listen to the audio and then watch the video. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You know, and some people watch the video and then go listen to the yeah, audio yeah. because they want to get the whole full experience and everything, bro. Mm, mm, mm. You go, know I mean, so salute to everyone that's supporting us. Each and every you one. You know, yeah. and also welcome, welcome, welcome to the new watchers and listeners, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This is the place for everyone, bro. You get yeah, me? Nah, is. Fam, should we do this, brother? Yeah, yeah. Yo, for everyone on YouTube and everything, right? We just intro this episode with Benson. Um, for days, for days, go check that song out, bro. Yeah, that's a classic, right? No, nah, it is a classic. If you but, don't but, know, now you know, bro. But you know what tune I've been on the whole week to this week, bro? Talk to me, my guy. Um, ah, what's his name again? Young, do you know Young Do? Yeah, I've heard about Young, him. Young Do, and um, what's this Mbogeto guy? Oh, oh shit, Yanya, Yanya, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The album is mad, you know. Oh, that's Yaya's album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've no. not listened to that album. No, nah, once upon a cat, that is a. That I've not is listened a, to that album. You know, listen, that is I, a banger. That's 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 one of the albums that I really want to listen to. You know, but it just one of them ones. I've been listening to other songs and everything, and 
and it just kind of just took me away. But obviously, I'm gonna come back to it. No, what, no, what you, need, you need to. I can't, I can't remember the name now, but it's the one with Young do. I think um, it's it's because he, he do Sweet Life. Is it Sweet Life? Yeah, Sweet Life. Let me check it out. Go come check on. that song out, man. Check the whole album out. Go now, check once it out, upon man. a cat. Sweet Life. Sweet once Life and everything. Yeah, album, the album man. is Once Upon a Cat yeah. by Inyanya. If you're on YouTube, listen, you need to go on Spotify or your audio platforms and everything and yeah. just listen to the songs that we were playing and everything. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. obviously we can't play it on YouTube because of the whole copyright thing and all that, you know? So we yeah. apologize <laughs> for YouTube. In advance. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's a good album though. No, no, it is. Or, or, or rather, I've heard that that's a good album. I've not listened to it. No, yet. no, it's a good album. Yeah. Like the whole the whole lineup. It, it hasn't got no, you know, super, you know, well, they're all superstars, but like no, 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 your top, top mm. yeah, people. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. all underground coming up. Well, not underground, but, you know. Low-key guys. In yeah, low-key, them King Maddies, them, you know, Young Do, all them guys. Oh, yeah. nice, 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 oh, nice, nice. It's a great album. Nice, bro. It's a great little listen. All right, bro. cool, cool, cool. Listen, there are some new songs. Like, totally come out and everything. We're still going to get to them and everything, bro. You know? But how's your weekend been, though? Nah, it's, been, it's been chill, you know? It's been same old. Like, it's at this point, it's same old. It's diff, the same thing all the time. Is it? Yeah? Yeah, you expect, yeah, go there, do that, do that. It's all set. Yeah. <laughs> bro, Nothing for, out the blue. Nah, bro, fam. For me, obviously, I'm having a good weekend until last night, bro. What happened? Shit happened in Russia, fam. Oh, I see Listen. that on the news. Yeah, that's crazy, though. That shit. It's crazy, yeah. You see social media. Social media is a gift and a cost, right? Meaning, back in the day, before social media, you wouldn't be able to see that type yeah. of action in real life, bro. Like, you see shit like that on in movies. Yeah, crazy. You know what I'm saying? But this on X, bro. Fam, I was watching people. For people that don't know, obviously, rest in peace to all the yeah, Russian yeah. civilians that got killed. Um, I think the number right now is about like 140, mm, 150 people right now and crazy. a lot of people injured, yeah. right? Bro, literally, you see these people, uh, these terrorists, you know, coming to this place and everything, bro, literally gunning people down, fam. Open fire, just firing everybody. Bro, that shit is crazy. Nice, nah, man. Right? But then what actually busts my mind is, because I was thinking about it, because I was watching the, the whole video and everything, right? And I was saying, bro, why are these people still stand, standing around and everything? Like, it's, it, it just seems like people don't really know what to do. People don't really know what's happening, but they are hearing the gunshots and everything, but nobody's running. You know what I mean? Yeah. Until people start seeing other people running, and then people start running. But they are not even running, like, I'm talking about sprinting right yeah, now, yeah. bro. No, because cause you're in shock, bro. Like yeah, it's not bro. your your pain is not your you want to get out there, but you're thinking what the hell is going what on? What is going on? You know, and and a bit of it is cu is curiosity as well because you kind of just want to see what's happening. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Because I was asking myself, bro, like if it was me, what would I do? Because I know I've been in positions or in places where something popped off, but a part of me wanted to see what's going on yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. You go, know I mean, yeah. instead of. Taking out. Yeah, taking out there, but you know what I'm saying? But you just kind of just want to see what's going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. But that shit was crazy, fam. Nah, it's crazy. And you know where it is again? It's because like, you're like in a mall where if you hear gunshots, you really don't know where it's coming from. You don't know. You because of the echoes and yeah, that, yeah. You don't know if it's there, there, there. You don't want to be running to to where it is, you know, where it's going. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so that's why some people will be like, you know, where, where do I go until you see, okay, you know it's there, then you now run the opposite way. Bro, I was glued to my phone watching that shit. Right, no, it's and crazy, and a part of me, a part of me, I know, I know. Sometimes the way I think sometimes is fucked up, right? Yeah, it is. But a part of me was like, "Yo, I just want to see what Putin is gonna do right now, bro." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. then boom, within a couple hours, the guys got caught. And, yeah, yeah. And I think they got caught, bro. I, I was watching the videos of them like questioning them and and torturing them and shit. Right, I was like looking at them, thinking, "I swear, them it's guys." It's all over, bro. It's over, bro. It's over already. <laughs> and the good thing is they, they were they were caught alive. So that's at least they can now spill the, if they're gonna spill anything. At least we Fam, caught. if it was me, I'd rather kill him myself than get caught. In that situation. Yeah. Bro, in that situation, yeah, where we probably killed about hundred and something people. I'd rather just buy myself, bro. What? Yeah, but then again, because you, the torture. Yeah. The torture's gonna be crazy, bro. 
But you don't know. Like, I mean, if they were actually trying to make make out and get away, then, you know, they must have planned it where it was going to happen. They were going to actually get away and then get away with it. So, Which was what they were planning to do because, because obviously Putin did his, um, his um, speech and everything. Mm. You know what I mean? So the guys came from a corridor that goes into Ukraine. Yeah. Or wherever. That's what he said and all that. Which I just said out like, oh, shit. No, nah, I mean, we, oh, we, we, we're just going to wait for the full thing to come out because I don't know. I mean, whoever is behind it, I, I, I heard I say that. I say so, whatever. That's I what say, he's saying I, and I everything. Say. But but obviously, it's so crazy, right? Because we are in this time where a lot of people don't trust nothing the government says. Yeah. Like, people might call it conspiracy theory, but a lot of people have lost trust and believe in the government. So yep. even when it first came out that it's ISIS, when you go through the comments on X, everyone like, nah. Well, it must be CIA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, the CIA yeah. is the Mossad and everything, bro. That is what everybody was saying, bro. Crazy. 10 years ago, everybody would just say, yeah, yeah. it's ISIS. The government said it's ISIS. Yeah, yeah. It's ISIS. Yeah. Then it was. It was. It was. Well, who was it? There was Bin Laden or whoever. It, whoever it was. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Then you yeah, know yeah. everybody said, "Oh yeah, it's Bin Laden. Let's go over there. Let's go to Iraq. Let's go to Afghanistan." Afghanistan yeah, yeah. Straight up. But then I think you know when the files of whatever happened back then, you know, now came out and people now saw that some of it were lies and everything. Yeah. You know, especially with the whole weapon of mass destruction and yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then social media, you know, a lot of people stay seeing things for themselves, hearing things for themselves. And now this whole thing that happened between Israel and Gaza as well, just opened a lot of people's eyes into the propaganda war. Now, now, shh. Yeah. They cannot curtail that shit no more. No, that's true. No, man, there is a propaganda war, but then again, there is people that actually just spewing out the rubbish, bruv. Yeah, of course. Like, just for, for the for fun of it. They're just there in their sofa like that. But you know what? Who oh, just say it's these people. <laughs> and then and then he goes and he catches fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially now, especially now that X, right? Especially now that X pays. Right? So if you subscribe to X, the more comments and the more views you get, X will pay you. Okay. So now that's in, incentivized people to now start tweeting anything, yeah. bruv. At least anything that can catch traction, just I'll just say, yeah, bro. You know, but that shit crazy, man. No, no. I'm just looking at the whole thing. I just want to see because, you know, you hear stories about Putin, you hear stories about Russia and everything. I want to see what my man is going to do, bro. But I know me because I started questioning myself, bro. That's part of the reason why I probably cannot be a president, bro. Because if it was me and you did that to my citizens, bro, and I catch you guys, it's not just going to end with you guys. You and your lineage is going to die, bro. That's it. That's me. But the lineage, what the lineage do you? Like? Ah, yeah, bro. You get me? It is what it is, fam. At this point. <laughs> no, but, but what can he do, though? Like, if, that's, that's the thing with all these terrorist cells. Like, what can you do? How can you? I mean, you can try to get to them, but it's always covert. You cannot actually, you know, get to them, get, get, get to them. Nah, the thing is, you know, obviously you have the people that actually came and did the killings yeah, yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they are the pawns on the chessboard, innit? Yeah. Somebody sent them. Yeah, definitely. Somebody paid them. So it's to find where the money uh, is coming from, right? Yeah. And that's where the issue is now. Because he said, bro, or rather his spokesman as well, plus him, you know, his spokesman said, bro, if we find out that that is from Zelensky, Right, all of them are dead, <laughs> bro. He said it on TV. Yeah, he said it. You know, yeah, so know. so it's a bit of a crazy one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Every single day that we wake up and all that, right? I'm thinking, you know, what well, we might actually get into World War Three. I don't think so. There's there's a whole lot of people with atomic bombs, bro. Nobody's gonna try that rubbish. You think so? Yeah, like by the war to end. Do do, do we actually take what the war to end? No, I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. But the way shit is going, yeah, bro. Yeah, everyone. Bro, 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 fam. With the way France is saying that they're going to send troops to fucking Ukraine and with what NATO is doing, bro. Yeah. Like, you would expect that somebody that would be like, yo, guys, you know, we are kind of stepping over the red line. No. 
Nobody's saying that, bruv. Because, because to them, it's business. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's business now until you get to the actual red line. All this thing is all like when Obama said red line this year. Everything is their red line. There's an actual red line for, for humanity, bruv. When you get to that point, about no one is crossing it. I don't think so. Because all these men, they, they want to enjoy life, you know. Forget all this, yeah, we, we will go there. They, they, they want, they want, don't they want to enjoy life? Then you think they're trying to make money for their kids, 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 grandkids to enjoy? Of course they want. So when you get to that major red line where it's like, okay, boom, everyone is bringing out their H bombs now. Bro, how can you be saying this when yeah. 150 people just got killed? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's sad. That's a story. So, no, yes, yeah. but but what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, hmm. if an evidence comes out now, yeah, that listen, those guys came from Ukraine, Zelensky, mm. sponsored by CIA, America. What do you really think is gonna happen? Do you think that Putin is gonna say, "I cool, I don't want World War Three"? Nah, fam. I, I think Bro, that Russians, sorry I cut yeah, you off, yeah. but Russians love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When it comes to times like this, because they know he is getting his leg back, bruv. Yeah, he's gonna get his leg back. Uh, to, an, to, an, to, um, to a certain extent, yeah. You get your leg back, boom, boom, boom. But it, it wouldn't now go on, on an all-out war with nah, that's his we're saying if that was the case, right? We wouldn't nah, go all out war saying. with Ukraine and America. I don't think so. It will go all out war and then boom, 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 boom World War II. I don't think it will happen. So he will think he wouldn't wanna. I think that would be that would be a reason why that would be the end of the war, actually. If it comes out that they are actually responsible, that would be the end of the war. So what's gonna happen to my people that that, that you just buy? For that reason, Una Una go seed and be like, okay, you know what, boom, you guys have won Russia, you guys are the V victory, where the losers, boom, war ended. That's the only way to compensate them. I, I mean, because the Russians, they don't want the war. You think you think they actually want war? Bro, if he comes out that those people are from Zelensky, I think Putin wants Zelensky, bro. Yeah, he might go for Zelensky, but that that's not like an all-out war for with the whole of Ukraine. No, no, of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will covertly, yeah, of course. Like the same way they're covertly trying to get, get to him as well. That's why they have securities, isn't it? Like they're not going to be like, yo, is, is they like chilling? Nah, they're, they're indirectly trying to get to each other. So that will still be going on in the backgrounds, but... It would be for the whole world, peace, 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 white flag is what I think. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. It would be, it would be a line to just, it would be an opportunity to just draw the line. Be like, okay, well, this is bullshit now because mm. you're actually killing innocent people now. Mm. People are dying on both sides. I think they were just gonna draw a line. They okay, boom, Russia, we win us, we lose us. Everybody says that. Everybody says to bro. I mean, she. No, that's what bro. I think because like, most of the time these these kind of events it kind of brings an end to wars. I think. It doesn't escalate it now, not in these times. In the back in the day, yeah, but these times where, you know, one bomb can kill a thousand people, but you know what that is? Mad, isn't it? Russia threw their own, America threw their own, everybody threw it, but the war just ended. And guy, we did for the middle, man, God, bruv. That's you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I've crossed my mind that fuck it. If it happens, it happens, bruv. Because, yeah. because for the last couple of years or the last couple of months or whatever, there have always been threats on both sides. I think yeah. I've come to the point where, bro, you know what? Fuck it. If it happens, it happens, bro. Everyone goes. Yeah. We are going to go anyways, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, but I say that to say, you know, everybody's threatening with the head bomb, but, you know, they're not going to use it. But, hey, it was, it's been used before. That's what I'm saying. You know, so, so, you know. Hiroshima. I'm a bit, yeah, I'm a bit like, okay. It's been it, used before. It's, it's not All just it so, takes yeah. is for one person. <laughs> to just press it up. And that's, yeah, that's it, but you know nah, what I mean? It's difficult times. Nah, 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 bro. That shit crazy. Which sometimes it bugs my mind when I see, you know, Africans rushing over to the Western world and everything. I'm thinking, bro, why are you guys even coming here, fam? Like, like yeah. this place is just hanging on a thread right now, fam. Yeah, you are actually safer in Africa, bro. Well, when the when the H bomb dropped, nowhere is safer, I don't think. Bro. No, bro, the World War II that happened, it did not affect Africa. Well, finally, I see what you mean. But yeah, that was conventional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It didn't affect Africa. So mm. I look at people rushing over to the UK, US or wherever from Africa, Nigeria and everything. I'm thinking, bro, what are you guys doing? You guys are literally walking into a potential war zone, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I guess people are trying to survive though, isn't it, bro? But, I mean, nah, no, no war, man. I'm anti-war, bro. Just, I'm just saying that there, just putting it out there, B. Ah, uh, you're not going to join, I mean. 
I know like oh, do you know me for waiting? To go fight. Nah, bro. I ain't fighting nobody, bro. bro you're a brave citizen, bro. Nah, but I'm not fighting. So nobody. wait, 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 hold on, bro. You see, you see what the, you see where the problem is, man. Yeah, yeah, but so, it is a problem. <laughs> yeah. So so you <laughs> wanna say, a, yeah. so so you wanna say that if we are at war right now, yeah. Right, and the British army is recruiting, you you're not gonna go. I'm not doing because I I'm against war. Because I don't think there's a it's, it's necessary. So you want us to lose then? No, it's 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 people getting getting their big boy pants on and actually getting the negotiating table. No, but the war's it. already started. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Before it gets to that, we're going to be here before it gets to that. We're not going to just sit down and be like, oh, okay, war, war, and then boom, war time. Nah, it would it would brew. Okay. There was something so what if it gets to that then? It gets to war time. Yeah. Nah, I'm still standing on my P though. It, you know, go. No, 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 they fight war. Oh, come on. It's bro. not even that I don't want to fight or coward or whatever. I'm against it, bro. It's against my spirit, bro. Yeah, bro. It is where it is. At that point, it is where it is, bro. We want to win, bro. Well, at that point, we want to win. Yeah, so, so, fuck it. We hit this war, but we are here now, fam. Yeah, I know, I know. I see what you mean, but then again, I, I know the fight, too. <laughs> I am fighting, fighting nobody. Bro. You are fighting no one, bro. Nah, fam. Not, Yo, not, not the, all these politicians, they are war, bro. I ain't nah, I love that shit, bro. But, Oh, real war is we know what real war is and then you're gonna fight but you see all this you if you guys are trying to use us to make money exactly but I'm not doing that nah yeah, bro I feel you I feel you nah. I feel you <laughs> nah I feel you though yeah, you yeah. get me bro are you watching um Shogun no but all them all them Japanese I don't, I don't know oh you're not watching that shit bro you nah. need to watch that shit bro. but it's the new one now because it's always been on the it's, new one the, new, the one. new one that came out Shogun yeah it's a show it's a same series yeah. isn't it it's like a mini series I think 10 parts bro you need to watch that shit on, where is it on um it's on disney plus isn't it okay but i'm sure you, you'll be able to find it on um fire sticks and everything and all that shit Wait, don't don't be don't be don't be mentioning fire the, the, yo they're clamping down on fire stick people bro you know are they like, yo listen you don't want to knock on your door bro is it but like fbi and mi5 mi5 are, are going for the fire why stick is that people. yeah because what do you mean why is that that's like bootlegger, you're jailbreaking these people, spoiling their market, bro. Bro, we, 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 people don't have money, bro. Yeah, but they don't want to. They don't want to hear that. I mean, it you is say, it is, say if you want to watch them shows on premium TVs, you save up. <laughs> 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 no, for for real, they're coming down. You, I think you're getting. You're even a worst case scenario. You're going to get jail time, bro. For real. Yeah, if you get caught with all them, you know, fire stick, all them lot. Yeah, people need to be careful out there. Oh, for <laughs> yeah. real? I didn't even know this, you know. Nah, they're clamping down on it strong now. Is it? Well, yeah. well, well, like, I just said it for people out there that, that own fire sticks, bro. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just give them a, I, I just give them a, a fucking different option, fam. You get me? Uh, you no, but, me? but we know it's out there. Yeah, we know it's out there. We know it's out there, but I just, I just yeah. had to put that there. Cause, but, yeah. bro, go watch that show, man. Show, yeah, show bro. bro. Okay. No, man, that shit crazy, bro. I'm on that shit heavy. I think it's like episode six or seven right now, bro. But there's too many kung fu fighting and all that stuff. Not bro. even kung fu. is um is basically the samurai. Oh, right, right, right. You get me? It's a Japanese show, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the samurai and everything, you know, the kingdom and all that shit. You know, different, different lords. Clashing and all, bro. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for you. What that shit, bro? Yeah, I might, I might Trust watch me. it. I might, I that might shit crazy, to, but might. but the reason why I brought it up here yeah, was the latest episode, right? There was this woman, the husband went to war, right, and she thought he died, mm. right? So she ended up screwing this other guy, who's a foreigner. Right, but forget about the final part. She ended up screwing this other guy, but then her husband came back, survived, and came oh. back. So I was watching that shit, thinking, if you were in that position mm. and you heard that your wife screwed homeboy, would you really be mad? I won't be mad. I mean, if she if she thought I was dead, then yeah, there's nothing to be mad about. Yeah, you'd be mad because obviously you're now living this reality. But I know, I know you're saying it because you're not in that position or whatever. But put yourself in that position. Mm. You're out there fighting for the honor of your family or whatever the case is, which is your wife, <laughs> yeah. right? And then boom, you didn't come home when everybody else came home. She ended up screwing homeboy and shit. 
You yeah. want to say that you're not going to be mad? No, man. you're going to be mad. I'm going to be mad, but I'm not going to take her to take her to court. Can mad? I'll be mad for you. Know, I mean, it's bad for me now because I don't have nobody to screw now. Oh, so are you going to break up with her? Because she's not a homeboy though. Oh, she didn't marry homeboy. She no, was just, okay. she was just screwing him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that is that is a bit techy that one. Mm. Mm. So are you, so are you still gonna take her back? But well, yeah, I mean, if it's my wife, then yeah, come on. Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you know nah. what? Do you know what? If it's my wife, do you know what? It's so interesting, right? To you, on a scale of one to ten, what importance do you put on sex when it comes to relationship? It's, Make it's, or break. In terms of what? Is sex as in how? In what context? Like, like if your girl cheats, um, let's say, cheats on you, or yeah. in this case, you traveled, wherever the case is, and then she screws the next person because she thought you, you wasn't going to come back. Mm. Right? And then, obviously, you came back. You now find out what happened. Now you're saying that you're not going to break up with her, no? Um, I, I didn't say not hundred percent. I was, I was still, I was still getting to my answer, bro. Okay, go on. Yeah, go yeah, on, go it's, on. it's still brewing. I'm still thinking about it, but I don't know because, like he's rightly said, I'm not in that position, so I wouldn't really know, you know. But if it's a case of where she didn't wait too long, or it depends. But if she waited so long, thinking you're gone already, and then, but but you cannot, you cannot fault her for that. Yeah, but like if it was a quick thing where everybody's out fighting and then you you're doing your thing, then that is a different case, isn't it? But if everyone's come back. And then you did not come back with the whole batch and then stuff. After a while, you're coming back and then she's saying, but you're going to, you're going to see re reason, I think. Mm. Yeah. At that point, I, I would, I would see reason. I would be like, okay, you thought this is, this is because you did this because of this. You know, that, that, that's the context I'm talking about. If you did this, it depends on why you did it. Mm. If it's a case of where I was still fighting and then you're doing it, then that is, yeah. But if it, if it's your wife is like okay you thought I was dead then that is valid though. But I would think. you still be with her then? Would you still look at her the same though? Yeah, yeah. If I if I love her then yeah. I mean oh. in, in case I if I did not if I don't love her that's to be a reason for me to be like you know what boom I'm gone. But if you actually love that person you would forget all these things people are saying. If you love someone and then what they done you you reason with their why they've done what they done but you go back to the person. You would. I think. Have you been in a similar situation? No, I've not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not. No, no, I'm not. Thankfully, thank God, I'm, yeah. but I'm not. But I just feel like if the if the why is reasonable, where you can see reason why they've done what they've done, your 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 you know the possibility of you going back with them is high. Mm. I think the, the the case is when if you don't want to see reason, where now nah, I don't care why you did it, you've done it, then yes. You would not go back to them. Mm. But if you come to a place where, you know, you're, you're thinking, okay, but they've done this because of this. Why they've done this? But you, I mean, we're all human beings, bruv. I hear that, though. So, so you're saying if you if there's a legit reason, your partner, your wife, whoever, would step out and then, for you, you're not going to see no reason. As far as they've stepped out, that's it. Is that how you see it? I don't know, bro. I don't know because because... I might take her back at that moment, mm. but knowing myself, right, it will always play in my head. Mm. I probably might not look at them the same again, and that will probably lead to the breakup of the relationship. Eventually, it Eventually. would not. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't look at them the same again. I I just don't know. Yeah, no, I can't. Something, speak something, right? Conversations need to be had. Mm. things no need to be done for me to say you know what all right cool i've laid it to rest you get yeah, me yeah. yeah but if the conversations are not really had or even if the conversations are had right but the whys don't really settle in my head mm -hmm. yeah eventually you know i will start resenting the person yeah, even let's even relate it to this. There's a recent one, this Marcelo guy, and it, whatever. Is this, um, what's the way? It, well, I think it was on Love Island or something. Was it Love Island or something? Like a British guy, it, okay. the, the wife was messed around with some a Yankee rugby dude. dude or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like bear, you know, and then people are saying, yo, don't mess with her. It's the same thing. 
but this is they were in a relationship so i can see why he wouldn't want to but then again i can see why he would want to take her back still because mm. i mean if that's your wife that's your wife it depends on how you see it, is what i say i if, think it's easier if the outside people are not in your business once a lot of people are in your business yeah yeah you the pride the then yeah, the yeah. pride ego will yeah, kick yeah, yeah. In. you know definitely that's yeah, what that, that, that's easy yeah that's i'm not taking you if all my family you know that you don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that is that, that fact alone but there it's, you go. it's gonna always be there like you are a fool you're a fool there you go yeah that yeah yeah, yeah. it'll be hard for me to, to do you know what funny enough if my family knows yeah i might take her back even if my family knows but if my friends know yeah. I think that's even worse, bro. Yeah, because because family will always be like, all right, cool, you're yeah, stupid, yeah, yeah. boy. It is what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. We still love you. But but your friends will always look at you like, bro. Yeah, you fool. <laughs> yeah, capital fool, bro. <laughs> Which is bad. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Which is bad. That's where the ego yeah, always kicks yeah, in, yeah. Ego will kick in. But then again, yeah, this this whole cheating business, relationships are complex, bro. Bro, it's hard. It's not. It's not. Do you know what? Is it the relationship that is complex or the people though? Because I always say it is the people that mm, make mm, the mm. relationship um, complex. Yeah, but I mean, there, there's there's some truth to that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then human beings are complex. Yeah. By nature. Yeah. And you it's human I mean? beings in the relationship. Yeah. So, you yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got to be nothing but complex. Yeah. You got know what I'm saying? Somebody asked me this question before we jump on this. Somebody asked me this question. You know, obviously, we, we might not need the answer. You guys think about it. Some, someone said, right? Someone said to me, Toby, do you know how crazy it is to think, yeah, that you will, for the rest of your life, however, li- however long you have on earth, 60, 70 years, yeah, that you are gonna have to be screwing this one person. Yeah. For 60 years, 70 years, bruv. Just this one person. Yeah. You're not allowed, yeah, to taste any other person. Mm-hmm. Right? As human beings, we we change cars, we change houses, we change clothes, mm. we change food. Oh yeah. We we change ever that thing in our life. Haircuts, mm-hmm. hairstyles, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. But you're not allowed to t- to to taste an, another pussy, fam. Do you know how crazy that is? No, I said, bro. You know what? I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. It, it's, not, it's crazy if you look at it like that. Like if you look at it in the in the in the lens of okay, just sex. Mm. Yeah, if you guys just sex, then it, it's crazy. Yeah, to just have sex one per year. But if you look, if you look at it, as, but then it's more than sex. Yeah, of course, it's more than sex. But it's yeah. the companionship, is the everyday relationship, is the kids you the get with the, yeah, the com- yeah, it's the the you know the journey, mm. which you know if you if I said okay, you're gonna have the journey with one person or just have sex with one person, but I'll pick journey with one person because it's not just sex. That, that, you, that's a fact. You get to a point where you're not even having sex anymore, bro. Yeah. Well, not that much, because I think I'll have sex like till whenever. Be. Yeah, it's the experience. Yeah, right? yeah, it's that experience you have with that person. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, if you look at it with the lens of just sex, then it's hard. It's, it's, it's not even hard. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Think about like you're going to just the you know the one person. Nah, it's mad. That's a fact. That's it's a crazy. Fact. That's but then, then again, you know, we, we commit to these things, isn't it? That's it, bro. <laughs> Nobody put gun for Nobody our head, <laughs> Yeah, but in a relationship, because you might get a relationship where it gets to a point where, boom, it's not, you guys are having sex with other people. It's part of the relationship. Mm. That, is, that, that, is, that is your journey. That's your journey. That's bro. your journey. Everybody has a different journey. Has a different journey. So a let's, let's not limit it to one, pe- one side of the story. Now it's a whole super story. That's it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Superstory. Oh, super story. <laughs> that is the title of this episode, bro. <laughs> a whole super story for a whole super story. You get me. Bro, they are killing your boy, bro. Who? They yeah. are killing your boy, who, bro. Who are they killing, bro? Who? Whiskey fam. Oh, for the yeah. I mean they are they are still killing your boy, bro. Yeah. One week later, fam. <laughs> well, I said one week later. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I was on X gonna, yesterday. It's, gonna around now. it's not going anywhere. It's not going nowhere, fam. Fam, I was on X yesterday. <laughs> you know, I, I stepped into a room and that and they were having a whole think piece and conversation about the whole thing. You get what I mean? So 
obviously, I didn't step on stage. I was just listening to everything. Okay. Everyone had their own opinion about the whole shit. You know what I mean? Mm. And then I don't know what I was doing. I stepped into my guy Bankley's page and everything. Yeah. On, Ooh, on shot. Next, well. Ooh, shot. <laughs> yeah. Listen, say shout, whatever shout you out. listen, <laughs> say whatever you want to say about Bankley, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect him for the fact that he stands on his beef, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to. Because in this industry, yeah, a lot of people suck dick, bro. <laughs> man, that's, bro, a bit, that's a bit harsh bro what's that's this, this? <laughs> what's, the, what's this nah, man, that's a fact a lot of people smoke dick bro yeah Pause. I'm telling you fam. but my man yeah he stands on his pee fam yeah and when you go to the comments the comments are crazy yeah, man. man yo people, people are them. shooting at him and everything bro but my man don't give a shit you mm-hmm. got what I'm saying, and this is some of the things that he said. Let, let's just let's just let's just dive into that shit, cause <laughs> my guy like who shot fam. My guy said, "Yo, it's either you're doing R and B, pop nothing like Afro R and B or Afro pop. Some people don't want to be boxed, which is good, but please detach that Afro and go compete with Chris Brown." And Usher, if he's sure for you. <laughs> 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 if he's sure for you, if I, we're still going to come back to that. But then he continued and said, anybody's open to disassociate from the umbrella name Afrobeats. From new to old artists, good for you. For the many that will be um, next set of Afrobeat superstars, education is key to help shape your mind and know your definition of sound. If you must know, what do you guys say? If you must know, even Baba Fela was doing fusion of different sounds. It's a good opportunity for new Afrobeat superstars to enjoy the identity and classification of peace. That was what he wrote. And then I stumbled onto Joey Akin's page. Shout mm. out Joey Akin. Shout out Joey. My guy said, an American artist made unforgettable. And did not denounce hip hop. A Nigerian artist <laughs> made essence and said, "I am R and B now." That is bazoo, bazoo. That, that is that is atomic bomb, fam. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But bro, yeah, let's yeah. let's go back to what Bankley said, bro. Yeah. Mm. What 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 what's what's your own two piece on on the on the matter though, bro? Are these people ready to really copy with the with, with the likes of Chris Brown or Usher? I mean, in my opinion, I think they are. Like not everybody, mm. but I think the 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 the, the few ones there that that can compete. But I'm not saying now compete directly, but be on that stage where okay, let's the, see who they like most. The deep end, bro. Yeah. Be dive into that deep end and and have a swim, bruv. Mm. Don't be swimming. Let's let's all swim. We've got hands there. Let's all do the thing. But but, but people like Chris Brown is different, bro. Yeah, obviously they, they, these are well established guys that have been doing this for time, mm. for a long time. But the, to your question, are these guys are, are, are they ready? But they are ready. I think I, I think they're ready. So so if there's so if you're a betting man right now, you can put your money on them. Now, to, for them to win or what? I'm not saying they're gonna they're gonna win the whole and start taking all the awards and these guys will be left left out. That's not what I'm saying. I don't know. I wish that happened, but I'm saying, can they compete? Yes, they can. Music for music, competition bangers for bangers. Yes, it's all competition, man. Because because yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, music is subjective. Mm. If, if if people over there like your sound. Not everywhere. There will be a pocket where they will like another sound. Mm. So for that reason, but it's competition. It is. It but is. let's all compete. Let's do that. Fam. Let's all compete. But it's because the people when they say can they compete, it's like to say okay they're not good enough. No, I think, I think they're they're good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To be to be out there, not everybody, but I think yeah. They selected few. Yeah, I mean, and it's 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 more than a few at this point now. It's, it's quite I think a handful. It's, a few though, bro. Uh, it's quite a handful. I think it's a few. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a few. If we're gonna be honest, yeah, just think about the names in your head. Yeah. Just think about the names in your head. Because I'm not calling any names. Yeah, I'm not calling no names. <laughs> think about the names in your head, right? And and tell and just say, okay, who is ready to actually be in that deep end? 
mm-hmm. be in that deep end. No, no, I love them, bro. And and I love these guys, but no, I love them. But but can't we say that about the, the guys in, in wherever they are? You, we can say that about them as well, because there not everybody's in the deep end over there as well. Yeah, there's local champion that we see here, here for him, but they, they be local champion. They bro. be local champion, yes, though, no. bro. Yeah, 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 not, yeah. Not, yeah. Not everyone is in the, this, this deep end we're talking about. No, of course not. Yeah. So for that reason, yes, it's not everybody that's gonna be able to you know thrive in this deep end. But same goes for every the, every market. The other side. Same goes for the other side, though. Yeah. And it's even it's even real the other side. Yes, it's sir. like. Yes, There's a man. whole lot of people that's in the shallow end. Yeah, but big, big time. <laughs> <laughs> big time, bro. If you're that deep end guy, shall go swallow you, yes, bro. I mean, so, so, so with that, with that being said, yes, is this deep end is not for everybody. The only thing about this whole shit is, right? I'm looking at some people, yeah, which goes back to what I said earlier that a lot of people smoke dick in this mm. industry, from. Mm. I'm looking at some people that criticized Bonner Boy mm. when he said that Afrobeat does not have whatever he said again substance huh? substance yeah right was that is what boss S- along something that like line that, yeah. yeah I'm looking at people that criticized Bonner Boy for saying that for saying that Afrobeat does not have substance right but then they are trying to come up with bare excuses Mm-mm-mm. for whiskey yeah to me that's hypocrisy yeah but then I support hypocrisy because we are all hypocrites one way or the other. That's a fact. Yeah, well, well yeah, I mean... No, yeah, that's yeah. a fact as human beings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this case, if you go back to our old episodes and everything, mm. we actually supported Bonaboy. Yeah, when he, I mean, yeah. We didn't, we didn't support his the actual language, but the, the point he was trying to make, yeah, yeah. I support any artist, right, trying to explore their artistic levels. Mm. I support that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try shit. If it works, it works. It works. Yeah, if yeah. it doesn't work, you try again. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm not a big fan of labels, even though we live in a world of labels, which is the reason why we have different categories in music. We yeah. have hip-hop in music. We have R&B in music. Mm. We have country music. There are black people that do country, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this guy that I stumbled on, Shabuzi. He's actually Nigerian, bro. Mm. He does country fam. Bro, and my man is cold. Yeah, yeah. That you didn't was, hear that, bro? That That's was, cold. That, that bro. was ice cold, bro. Cold, bro. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I support artists. We have different categories. We have hip hop, RB, country music, um, drill music, Afrobeats. I'm a piano, yeah. right? Artists should be able to jump. We were well, right. We see Beyonce too. She's got on the country album. She's jumping into country and everything, right? Artists should be able to explore yeah. wherever they need to explore, right? But I've always said that. I just don't understand why artists need to make the announcement. Is it the announcement or to have to, you have to shit on, you know, on the table you were, you were eating at? That too. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's my own problem with the whole thing. Like, I'm with you with the whole exploring. Yes, like I enjoy every music. If it's if it's good music, it's good music. I'm not checking to see okay, it has to be Afrobeat first or okay, it has to be Juju first or hip hop. Now, if it's good music, it's good music. It will resonate with you. Whatever kind of music it is mm-hmm, mm-hmm, will resonate. Mm-hmm. But then, then again, Rich haven't said that. But if you're gonna do that, yeah, do that. But don't. Make everybody look like, oh, you guys are f- foolish over there. Like, like what was this you're doing? Like, a month ago, you were not doing that same thing. Mm-hmm. You see, well, see what I'm saying? I feel you, I feel like, you. When, I feel you're sh- when you're shitting on the whole thing you've been on before, that's where it's like, okay, it was that necessary? I feel where Joey Akon is coming from, though. Because when he said the whole thing about, you know, a hip-hop artist did Unforgettable. You know the song yeah, yeah, Unforgettable, yeah, yeah. right? That's French so, Mon- yeah. uh, that's really, um, French Montana, you know? But then they didn't come out to say, hey, you know what? I'm no longer an, a hip hop artist type thing. Mm-hmm. They dabbled into it, did whatever they did, made a lot of money from there, yep. and still did their thing, right? Sometimes I, I wish that some of our artists, right, if you want to try out the, whatever thing you want to try out, try it out whatever, but then the call, which forget about whatever these people are saying, right? 
the core of their music is still gonna have that African yeah. infusion in it. Come on, because that's who they are. That's who they are. Come on, your identity. That, that's the way. That's why. It's, even I'm not That's what I was trying to say. Like Afrobeat, I don't see it as a box thing. Yeah, I use it. I say most of these guys are Afrobeat artists. Yeah, but in my head, I'm not boxing anybody in. Mm. Because for me, I'm I'm trying to identify. That's how, that's yes. how I can identify. Yeah, exactly. You. That's an identity. Yeah, that's just what's the way it is. Now, now that's what I'm saying. I'm not at this business end of things. I think at the business end with all these executives, that's where I think that's where they are being, you know, being shot board or being played kind of thing. That's why they feel they need to come out and say, "I'm not this. I'm not, I don't know. Maybe." Mm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say, what I'm saying is like when they go to all these, you know, when they go to awards and stuff, they're not getting the, you know, the shine that they should get because they're grouping everybody in the Afro beat kind of thing. Like the whole antic ins and outs of the whole business side of things. That can also play a role into it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's you why know, they see that it. Al- yeah, that can play a role into it. You know, also inferiority complex as well can play a role into it. A yeah, lot of that, things, that. yeah, a yeah, lot that. of things can play a role into it, right? Because you know where we come from and everything, we always think that that thing that's over there, i.e., maybe America or whatever, is better, better than, than what we have, yeah. right? So I want that instead mm. of trying to grow this to compete with that. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. that makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so a lot of things can play into it and everything, but you know what? I say it again and I'll say it again, bro. Right. I support these artists tapping into their artistic fountains. Yeah. You go. Know I mean, if you want to dabble into fucking hip hop and rap, do your thing. If you want to dabble into R&B, do your thing. Do whatever you want to do, man. You go, I mean, there is no limit to this bullshit. No, there's there no. There is no limit to this. You go, I mean, try whatever you want to try and all that shit. I support that. Yep. I support that because I know what it feels like trying to be in a box. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And sometimes we even struggle with that as well here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because some conversations that we can, ha- we, we can have, but then we are looking at, okay, our audience are they going to yeah, be yeah. interested in this? Yeah, you yeah. know, so you can feel that that invisible box and everything. You're yeah, kind of yeah. trapped, you know, yeah, because yeah, okay, yeah. You, now you have to do th- you, you you have to discuss things that you feel that they want to hear and they want to listen to and all that shit. You go, know I'm saying, whether yeah. via algorithms or views or different shit. Yeah. You go, know I'm saying. True. So so um, I don't think any of these guys have done anything wrong. The only thing is just stop doing the announcement. <laughs> you know, whatever your announcement is, and just do it. Just drop the music. Yeah. And if people fuck with it, people fuck with it. If people don't fuck with it, it is what it is. Well, then again, I, I think why they see why they're doing. I think it's out of. It's like a. It's like a rant, kind of like letting off steam, kind of because because we know the the whole fan base in in our in our culture. Let's just say pull it that in our culture is is toxic, bro. Oh hell yeah! It's so toxic that you know I think for to an extent they see the need to to do that mm. because because if not you'll be put living a wave inside of you and letting it burn you alive kind of thing mm. because because I, I tr- trust me like say for whiskey for an instant now the the whole music the is last you know the last album and stuff people were actually shaming that shit because it was not you know so you can see why. It would it would do what it what it did. I'm not gonna lie, I was really thinking about that, bro. I was really thinking about that. I do not think, right? I do not think a lot of listeners or music lovers from Africa or from Nigeria were ready for this new type of whiskey. When I say new type of whiskey, I'm talking about maybe sound from the other side, um fucking um more loveless ego. Fucking um, the Lagos one, made in Lagos. Made made in Lagos. I don't think a lot of people were ready for that sound. When they yeah. hit, when they heard it, it threw a lot of people off. Yes, Essence did whatever Essence did, but for the majority of the people, I don't think a lot of people were ready for that because anyone that comes to me to tell me, yeah, that more love less ego is not a great album, I look at them crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to have a conversation with you, bro. The definitely, it's like I definitely don't want, don't even want to have a conversation. With you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. Because if you if you know anything about music, go listen to that album. 
But what then again the thing is people not ready for it. Why would I mean why aren't they ready for it? Like it's a, it's, 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 it's there should be a sign where it will okay, we're about to do something different now and because then. we are so into noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, we are so into noise. Uh, <laughs> street lumber. Yeah, but I think uh, is it that Lamba, or, we are so into Lamba, bro. Is it that or just the 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 noisiest ones? Among us are the ones that is always like, okay, we're into this. But if you actually dip it down, people enjoy music for what it is. True. I would like to believe so, because I don't, I don't, I don't see why it w- it's like we're not ready for it. We're not ready, and then okay, yeah, you're not ready. But okay, boom, it won't do well in sales. But that would be a reason where you now go on a full on bashing the. Do person. you know what, bro? Do you know what, bro? Yeah, when you go on the internet and everything, right? It's always the noisy few. Yeah. Definitely. The internet trolls that have the time. To come social media and write a whole essay why this is shit and all that kind of shit. People that actually love the music don't really have the time to go there. Like, so all like myself, I enjoy the music and everything, but not once did I go on social media and be like, oh my god, this music is so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never because true, I'm true, just true. enjoying the music and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 you yeah. know. But then you have the people, the the noisy few. They are the ones that will go on social media and try to cause a mayhem yeah. and shit. No, it's it's mad. Let these let these guys do what they need to do, man. Yeah, man. That's the way I say. Because I enjoy music, whatever it is. Like, if, if you guys are saying I'm boxing, you know, okay, but, but in my head, I know I'm not trying to box nobody. Yeah. The only thing about <laughs> this whole thing is, yeah. <laughs> nah, but I hear you. But the only thing about this whole thing is, yeah, whiskey approaching this this way has put a huge target on his back. Because now, bro, your next album better be heaven. Yeah, that that's the unfair that's the unfair reality. Which bro. is the reason why I said, bro, you didn't have to say anything. Mm. You didn't have to say nothing. Just drop the music. Let the music do the talking for you. Because yeah. now, if you cause this whole mayhem and shit, your next album better be gold. But the other side to it is, it, it might him saying it might now actually prompt people to. Give it, give it, or uh, give it. I mean, like, actually try and listen to, listen Shit. to where. No, no, it's true though. You don't Be- know these trolls, fam. Because <laughs> nah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because, I mean, he's the one wearing the, the shoe. He must have felt, I don't know what he felt from his last album, but he must have felt some type of way, bro. Yes. So. But that's my point, mm-hmm. right? The next album might be good, but a, but listen, it better be 101 over 100, fam. Because <laughs> some of these internet trolls, they're gonna come. They are gonna come. They yeah. are gonna come. They're they're, they're coming already. They yeah. are they're already waiting they're for already, you. Yeah, they they're are already. at your doorstep waiting for you, bro. You go. I mean, people like us, we're still gonna enjoy the music regardless, bro. Steady. You go. I'm saying, and 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 I know the music. The, the music. The, the music is gonna be good. But some of these people, because you've said that, yeah. right? They just wanna prove you wrong now, Mm-mm-mm. or something. You go. I'm saying. So listen, I, I, I'm waiting for the music. No, That's me, like me too. Me too. I, I I can't wait. I'm waiting for the music. That's all I care I can, about. I cannot wait. But but to, to your point though, yes, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of it raised the bar of the pressure. That pressure bar is 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 high. High. It's, it's up up there now. You're thinking because <laughs> people are gonna judge you. Absolutely, bro. People are going to judge you, be like, you where they talk, okay, let's see what... Let's see what is, one is, now. Oh, is this what you're doing now? You kind of think. Yeah, let's and, see what and, and you know our people, the way they do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, bro. <laughs> that is one... I mean, you love and hate them. I think that they get, they, they gain through your, their old fanning and then you're your, your, your dying hard for you and then the bad side of it is they, they can't come be for shit, you, bro. bro. They when they come so for shit, you, bro. is. It's brutal. They can be shit, bro. Unne- can, unnecessarily brutal, bro. They can be shit, bro, because uh, that shit crazy, bro. Nah, but just to cap it off, yeah, my people people should do what they want, bro. We, we have just the likes of Fireboy, um, Omale doing their thing, bro. That, Listen, when, not, you, when you talk about doing your thing, mm. you talk about doing your thing, <laughs> one person that is doing his thing it's Fireboy, wow, bro. Wow, DML. Eh? Listen. Nah, my guy. He stayed out of the way, right? And to me, that's the best way to approach this whole shit. Just do your thing. Because yeah. you guys are over there talking about Afrobeats, chaw, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> my guy is over there, yeah. yeah? Doing songs with Justin Timberlake, fam. Yeah. 
A Can nice, you imagine nice that shit, bro? As well. Doing songs with Justin Timberlake, bro. Yep. That shit is crazy, fam. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, come on. That's that's. <laughs> hey, guys. Come in there with the identity, bro. Call it, where, call it wherever you want to call, call, call it. That's it. I think I think right now we should call it call it call it me. Like if I was an artist, I'd be like, call it me. It's like, my shit. It's my shit, bro. Do yeah. my call shit. It, bro. If it's Omali, so I call it Omali sound. Yeah. That's it. If it's Fireboy, call it Fireboy, Fireboy sound. Fireboy sound, bro. Because Simple. because if you hear, if you're listening to this right now, it has a like a fusion of of like African sound to it yeah, with some R and B shit on it. Yes, it you does. know what I'm saying? It does. Definitely does. That's it. That's music <laughs> and everything. And if it's good music, well, people, people will, really will rock to it. People will, people will you rock what I'm saying? to that And that's the reason the conversation that we were having last week, right? Where I say, bro, the transition that we are going through right now, yeah, as a genre of music, right? What I go find a level. Mm. <laughs> Everybody will have to find their size. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> Everybody will find their size. You know, yeah, because yeah. because if you look at, I'm looking at, I, I, I'm looking at everybody, yeah, saying that oh, Fireboy has fallen off and everything, bro. Everybody's tripping. Does that look like someone who has fallen off? No. You're doing off. songs with Justin Timberlake, fam. He's done a song with Ed Sheeran. He's done a song with Madonna. Mm-hmm. Bro, do you understand the names that we're calling, fam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no falling off there. So, so I think we 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 kind of need to redefine what we mean by falling off. <laughs> no, it's a fact. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think falling because off. you see that all the time and everything, yeah. where people say, "Oh, he has fallen off," and all those kind of shit. Nah, he just he's just not making the <laughs> that yeah. pe- that you guys want to listen to, bro. Word, word, word. That that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Probably in in our thing, yeah. It's, that's it's it. Usually the case, yeah. So if you're not doing the noisy music, they call it falling off. But nah, bro. And talking about someone who's tapping into their artistic fountain, this is what it is. Yeah. He's stepping into different worlds, doing different type of music and shit. Yeah, yeah. Still true to himself. You know what I'm saying? No. And once again, he did not come out to say, hey, I'm no longer Afrobeat and everything. Nah, bro, you don't need to do yeah, all that. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not necessary. I mean, it's not, not even necessary. It, it, it's, it's, it, it kind of it kind of gives the opportunity for people to be like, yo, wait till they worry you. Then. The criticism and all that <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. And okay. nobody needs that shit. Nobody needs that. Another good example is this. Have you, have you listened to the um, Casey's or Japiano remix? Nah, bro. Yeah, he done, he done it with some, like, a, a, a top, top, I can't remember their name now, but a top band. Is top it? American rock band as well. And mm-hmm. you see the comment, people are saying, people are saying, yo, which kind of shit be this? Team, yeah, you spoiled, spoiled it. Ah, this is not if you, you know, I'm like, and I listen to him like, yo, this is, this is, this is gold right here, bro. I'm going to play now, yeah, bro. Yeah, play. Man, look at, look at that hard, beauty, bro. Bro. Yeah, but people, you see people saying, "Yo, what have you done to this? Which one be this one?" Look, I'm but like, that's the problem, right there. Are bro. you guys? Are you? Are you? Are you people not listening or what? Bro, What's one, going on? one Republic, yeah, is a legendary group, bro. They've worked with with um Timberland and all that shit. Bro, that is yeah. the the One Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They worked with Timberland and all that shit. You know what I mean? Who doesn't know them? If you're into music, you know them and shit. But that's again, right? We always look at. Our music from one small lens, yeah. it has to sound this way and be this way. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the reason why Thames don't fuck with you, love, fam. I mean. Are we going to have that conversation or not, bro? <laughs> yeah, yo, what you saying Thames don't fuck with us now? <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why Thames. Yo, Thames. Listen, bro. That is the reason why Thames is our rock nation parties and... And 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 white parties and Jay Z parties and all that shit, bro. You got what I'm saying? She just there, just party all of them, bro. You got what I'm saying? He's she's not into the whole mess that that is going on here, fam. Yeah. And I fuck with her like that because yeah. to me that's the best way to do it. Just stay off the bullshit. Let yeah. the music do the talking, bro. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Let the music do the talking. Yeah. You got what I mean? And but listen, terms. Guy, we need the album. Yeah, which, guy, which, guy, which guy, which guy, which guy to be this one from? Uh, Tyler, don't drop our album. It, but wait. Oh, listen, yeah, bro. That, that, fire as well, isn't it? Did you see, did you hear, um, 
the song the song she did with times yeah <laughs> that, that 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 is fat fire tyler number yeah. one featuring times bro yeah, let's nah, listen to this bro crazy tune bro can you hear that but that this song this that's this song we just listen to now will compete with any song what are you talking about that's what that's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? These, these guys can compete, bruv. They can compete. You just need to stay out of the whole bullshit talk about this, this, we are this, this, and just put put in get into the lab and make music. That's bruv. it, bruv. <laughs> that's all they need just to do, make man. Music, but we enjoy it. I bet. <laughs> the better, better people that have sense will enjoy the music. Yeah. Leave the few noisy ones. Yeah, they can be very noisy, but you know, bone them, bone them for pack them Just one side. Just side, bro. Yeah, pack them one side, bro. Let's let that, the people. Bro, that's the reason why I fuck with Thames. Heavy. <laughs> yeah. Heavy, bro. How, you get know what I'm saying? How, how heavy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, bro. You get know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, she's going to the bullshit. Yeah. You know, she's in California, wherever she is. Looking pretty, looking nice, enjoying the sun, and enjoying some margaritas and shit. Partying with Jay Z and Beyonce <laughs> and Rock Nation. She's she's looking at us. She's looking at us, all of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, but no, no, no. But this is the thing, though. Mm. I just like the fact that she is not in the bullshit. Yeah, I mean, they 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 try. I mean, they try brag at him, but she's always she's always ste- stepping out. She's always stepping you know, out. side stepping out. You know what I'm saying? And when you see the people that are not in the bullshit, right? They are on a different pace. I'll give you an example. Fireboy. We just talked about Fireboy. Mm-hmm. He's never in the bullshit. He does his own thing. You know, stays away and everything. Unless if you're into what he's doing, you understand. You understand that this guy is getting to the bag, bro. You're doing songs with Justin Timberlake, bro. Yeah. You're doing songs with Ed Sheeran, bro. That's a huge, that's a different type of bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? But my man is chilling. He's not in the headlines. He he doesn't say things that are out of pocket. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm not saying that all these guys say things that are out of pocket and everything. I still support what Whiskey said. When, when, I, when I look at it from an objective point of view in general... Right, when you look at it from artists should not be put in a box, I support that. Yeah. Right? But do I think that he needs to announce it, right? For whether he's fans, whether he's frustrated about something, or whatever the case is, I don't really think he needs to. Even if he has to say it, there is a way of saying it, maybe in an interview, so that you can yeah. explain yourself better. Yeah. When you put it, um in an instagram story right there is just so much explanation that you that, that you can do so people are just going to screenshot what you just wrote and say this is it but if you're in an interview or podcast or whatever the case is with this kid don't really do podcasts anyways but if you're in an interview and then you say listen i don't think artists should be put in a box because of this 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 you know maybe going forward and all that i'm going to try different things or whatever the tone of your voice your cadence, the way you say it, the way you explain it, people will understand. Yeah, what the you're delivery saying. will be different. From the delivery will be different. You get me? The sentiments will be different, right? But when you put it on your Instagram story in just a couple words, people will just take it and now make it into whatever they want to make it into. Yeah, no, no. You no, get no. what I'm saying? Because I, I don't think what he said is wrong. No, it's just obviously. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that just what it is, man. No, no, there are bad people in their own likes. People like CK or Malay, they they they're doing their thing, bro. Just doing their thing. They just they do their own thing. Mm-hmm. They they do their tours. They do their thing. Music, music. At the end of the day, it's music. It's bro. music, bro. Don't forget. And I think it's all about this. I think one other very major influence, or rather, you know, oh yeah, influence. It's it's all this, you know, trying to fit into this whole awards business and trying to get this award. But I, at the time, bro, we need to bone all this trying to fit into awards things, bro. I understand that. It's easy to say, but I, I get it. I get it. If you're in an industry, you would like to be appreciated and rewarded for your work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, it's just like being in the office. You're putting in so much work, but no one is appreciating you. you you are not getting employee of the year 
I employ all the month and all that kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. If you if you do work, every, everyone knows get the praise and all that. You get me? So I get it. I get it, you know? So because if you think about it, bro, if I'm an artist and I spend countless nights in the studio making this music and all that, right? And then boom, I win the Grammys and shit. Like that's the highest award you can ever get in my industry. Bro, that's something. Yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm sure it feels good. You, you yeah. got I me mean? like what it does to your CV. That's the reason why you see them Grammy nominated. Yeah, yeah. Grammy winner. Mm-hmm. You got what I'm saying Oscar nominated, Oscar yeah, winner. Yeah. Like what it does to your CV, it puts you here. Not everybody can get that. So I understand why a lot of artists want to get to that. Which which I think part of it also plays a role in some of these artists saying, nah, if, I'm not just yeah, there. I think it, it plays a major role. Yeah, man. yeah. Because because I noticed that. You know, in this awards, our category is just like this. Yeah. But I want to be, mm-hmm. you know, in categories with the with the likes of fucking uh, Nicki Minaj, yeah. Beyonce, this, this, this. You get what I'm saying? You know, because when you look at it, the last Grammys and all that, bro, it seemed like we had our own thing over there. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I get it. I get why artists want to do this. Yeah, well, then again, that is when everybody is fixated in that, then you have this. You have this problem where people are denouncing where they come from just to be... be Fit in somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Just to be to be welcome to the, in their own opinion, the big stage. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't think... Personally, personally, see, I, I don't wait like... Now, I get, you know, the whole, you know, Grammy, but just because you have a Grammy nominated, that doesn't guarantee my ratings, bruv. Mm. Because, yeah, yeah, Grammy nominated, and then I have to now. Bro, there are bare Grammy nominated that I don't even check. True. That I'm not even going to check. But I think you're saying it now. If you're an artist, you want to win a Grammy. I don't know, yo. Yes. No, no, no. You know, you, you can't say, nah. Nah, I don't think so, If you're an artist. Yes. Yeah. An yeah. artist. No. Okay. You're putting in work on everything, mm. right? And you're looking... You are looking at the people you came into the industry with, mm. your class and everything. Everyone is getting this and everyone is getting this. And you know that you are way better than these dudes and everything. Bro, you want to get there, bro. Yeah, no, you want to win a Grammy. You get me like, that's a human thing. Yeah, no, yes. That's what I'm saying. You want to win, but but is that, would that, is that the be or end or nah? It no, of course be. not. No, but for, for some of these guys, it, it seems like it seems like that's the case, bro. Yeah, l- listen. It's a classic situation. It's a classic case of, you know, you want what what you don't have. That's the reason why you see the likes of Jay Z's, Kanye West, you know, Drake's and everything. When they finally win the Grammys and all that, they start shitting on the Grammys. They'll be like, man, for the Grammys, we're not going there. That shit means nothing yeah, and all that. Because they won it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They won it now. Mm. It's just like when, when you come to the UK or when you come to the US, you're looking for a visa, fam. You're doing everything you want to get. You, 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 no, you, 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 you want to get um, a passport. The British passport. You're doing this, you're doing that. And then finally you get it, bro. You just be like, is this it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a human thing. But because you don't have it, you're shooting for it. Yeah. Yeah, you, no. You, you want to get hear, it. I hear that. I hear that part. But when you finally get it, it's like rich people saying, oh, you know, money is not everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're rich, isn't it? True. You're you're there. All yeah. that know there. We want yeah. to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear, I hear, I hear that part. I hear that part. That, but, that, to me, to me, that just what it is. Yeah, I hear that part. But then again, I, I don't think like if, if I if I was an artist, but I would it would I would appreciate more if you know I can see the effect of my music. Yeah, the fans that, are that, with Yeah, than you know being having to be invited by for a Grammy just to to show that yeah I've arrived. Just nah. The fans will let me know, yes, I'm there. Mm. Not, not the whatever award I win. That's Mm-mm. just how I see it. Though. I feel, I feel. That's just, that's just how I see it. Yeah, now, I would, if you put a Grammy there for me and then be like, Grammy, win Grammy or not win Grammy, of course I want to win the Grammy. Mm. But if it's, you know, yeah. The way I say about, yo, they, this award don't mean, it, does, it, shouldn't mean, it shouldn't be the end or be all of everything. I feel you. Because there are people like me that will fuck with you. Grammy, not Grammy, mm. no, me, yeah. nah. That yeah. will still fuck with your shit. That's if it's good, that's a fact. You know, so hey, that's a fact. You know, but be- before we get out of here, bro, mm. are we gonna act like we didn't say that that um, Tyler needs to drop an album first before, where she came out and said that she's having um, 
waste this location or whatever. She's not feeling well and she had to cancel at all. What, what? No, are you are you saying is 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 the cancellation was due to because there was no much music out there, bro? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to be that guy to say I told you so, but I will say I told them so. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you get me? Because and because I looked at the whole thing, the whole thing. If there is something, I'm a thinking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a brain and looked at the whole thing. I said, mm, Nah, I don't believe that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need. Music. Yeah, a couple more. A couple you need more music to do there. tour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, which I think her album is amazing. I've listened to it back to back to yeah, back. Yeah, no, album's amazing. Very, very, very good album. Totally enjoy the music. Bro, the song with Gunna and Skilly Bang. Yeah, that this Gunna Skilly Bang track is, yeah. Shit, that shit crazy, bro. You get what I'm saying? I think I think the future is bright for her, for me, in no, my it opinion. Is. No, it definitely is. You that that, sh- that project can can compete, bro. bro. And they are pushing her, bro. I saw her, uh, literally at the Lakers game and everything. Mm, okay, she was sitting beside LeBron James, fam. She was sitting literally by the bench. That's LeBron. That's her. You can tell they strategically just put her there. Yeah, I mean, it's and you got what I'm saying? Like the visibility and shit, yeah, bro. It's all, it's all the business. There yeah. you go, fam. So she, they she's are, the next one. She, she's the next one. So they are pushing her and everything. I mean, she's pretty, though, isn't it? You got what I'm saying? She, she's a beautiful girl, though. I mean, it's that, uh, we're not saying that's the criteria, bro. It's it, part of the criteria, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you got what I mean? It's part of the criteria, though. Uh, I didn't know. I mean, really. she's talented and beautiful, though, isn't it, bro? You get me? Don't you agree, fam? <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, you agree, no, bro? No, but I agree. She's talented. Yes. Oh, 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 you don't think she's pretty? Yeah, I think she's 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 amazing. She's stunning. Yeah, there you go. She is stunning. There but but go. then again, if, if with that talent, you can you can look like where, whatever, and you be there. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> nah. <laughs> my guy, my guy, to post. <laughs> I don't think that. But nah. There are so many talented people that are not. He gonna say, yeah, but hey, yeah. As we see, we get, we get the whole. Yeah, yeah go, I we mean, get, we get the whole aesthetic. Yeah, we get the aesthetic. You go, I mean, but yeah, they are really pushing her on everything. You know, yeah, I think, yeah. I think she's probably the one right now from that's out the country, from South Africa, and everything, and she's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, Thames obviously she's doing her thing. I personally still think that 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 the female category of our generation is really, really, really suffering and lacking, bro. In my opinion. Yeah, man, that's yeah, you know I mean? suffering and lacking. I'm talking about the international stage and everything, bro. There's you talent, but they 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 seem not to be breaking out, breaking out in yeah. there like the male counterparts, isn't it? I yeah. just don't know why. I just don't know what's going on because a lot of these girls are very talented, you know. I know it's easy to say, oh, maybe they're not getting the support. We don't know whether it's the support or whether they're just lazy or whether they're they are not putting in the work, whatever it is, right? But I think the female category of our general, whether you call it Afrobeats or whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whether you want color. Whether you want color, bro, is really suffering. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really suffering. We need uh, more women to compete on the big stage. Yes, that's the word to compete on the big stage. Yeah, to compete on the big yeah, stage. Yeah, and everything. Yeah. I'm sure that they're doing their thing in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah they're stuff. doing their things you locally. I mean? But I'm talking about in the big stage or rather on the big stage. You know, the way Thames is doing her thing and all that. Bro, when I'm looking at Thames and, and, and I'm seeing her taking pictures with Beyonce and seeing her taking pictures with with LeBron James's wife. LeBron James's wife is, is um, fucking introducing her on stage. She's at the Billboard Women Awards, whatever. She's at the Rock Nation thing, bro. It's it's a different type of look, bro. Uh, it it's a different type of look. Definitely. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that what they do over there is better than what we do. No, that's not what I'm saying, right? But unfortunately, the way the whole shit is set up, there's levels to this. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? The way it's set up. The way it's set up. <laughs> we don't make yeah, the rules. Yeah, we don't. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I want to see more women on the scene, bro, in my opinion. And and I know that people will say, yeah, but there is this person, this person, this I'm talking about the big stage. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the big stage, them being there in the international eyes, the views, all that shit, making their noise. I mean, there, there's just a hand, like you said, yeah. 
we need we need more of them we need more of them we need more of them like more 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 more. like you can count like how many five three three four five yeah but we need to be cutting 10 to 11 12 13 14 15 of them that's a fact because the if not talent the talent is there Talent is there, bro. Talent is there, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, but listen, salute to them, though. Yeah, yeah. Spe- special shout out to King Madi, bro. I like that girl. Oh, you like the girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like, yeah, I like the girl, sound, bro. bro. Yo, her, her sound, her sound. Her sound is mad. She's doing her thing. You know our, our sound is mad. King Madi, bro. We love you down here, bro. Yeah, for real, though. <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah. We do. Bro, before we leave here, what it is with. Brazilian players and and waiting and rape cases and uh, rape cases. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> How did I know that was what you were going to yeah, say? Even like, I said Brazilian yeah, yeah, players yeah, yeah. are rape cases that five and six. They 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 the wayward, but I don't know. It's, I, I don't know where it is. It's, it's uh, crazy, it's, I, I, bro. That they are easily, you know. And these are legends, though. Yeah, yeah. Top 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 players, bro. You get me? Top top ballers. Yeah, yeah. Robin Hona. Yeah. He's about to go down for nine years. Mm. I don't know, guy. Alves is, uh, he got billed, you know, for how many million he puts there? The yeah, something like that. I forgot. But there's always something with them. Rape cases, assault cases, there's always something with them. Yeah, yeah. They too like women. Yeah. And they party a lot. So when you're in that groove and, you know, drugs is flying everything, you might just, any little, and you know, the world we live in now, any little unwarranted approach is assault, bruv. You get me too, the fam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me it's called me too fam you get me too bro you get me uh, no but true though true i think they, they they just party hard a lot that's crazy bro they party hard too much too much bro. and then you know boundaries is blurry no more boundary anymore and then hey you they, get caught up, up you get caught up the person is like yo i did not sign up for this boom the next day you see yourself in court bro <laughs> <laughs> no, you see yourself. I mean, this is uh, the my case. Obviously, the serious ones is actual actual rape, yeah. which is crazy. I'm telling you, bro, that shit great. I, I, I was reading the shit on there, and I was thinking, what the fuck? Brazilian players and rape. It's five and six mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, you no, it's, it's, it's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've noticed crazy. that too. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. You know what I mean? But listen, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah, listen, yeah. listen, 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 listen. Salute to you guys out there. Salute to all the freshers around the world, man. Thank you for rocking with us. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Toby and your boy Kels. Yep, this yep. is Fresh of the Bull Podcast. Salute to Koja, man. Keep on watching the videos, subscribing to the channel, leave comments, leave likes, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. People. Because they got friends too. Yes. They and do. also, and also the episode, the full episode with the music, some of the things that you're not going to see on YouTube or mm. rather here on YouTube is on the audio episodes yep. on Spotify, Apple, uh, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, wherever you are, we date there, man. Yep. You got know I me. Mean? Go check out the episodes and everything. And also keep on sharing, keep on loving and on to your next time. Salute. Peace out.